Hello, I'm Dr. Cindy Neville, and I'm a Women's Health Certified Specialist in Physical Therapy. The purpose of this video is to provide physical therapists and rehabilitation professionals with a brief demonstration and description of the therapeutic uses of the essential and the premium TheraWind in the clinical and self-treatment of pelvic pain conditions involving pelvic floor muscle dysfunction. When the muscles and tissues of the pelvic floor are painful, the TheraWind can be manipulated to gently massage and stretch them. Dyspareunia is the term for painful intercourse and can be caused by muscular or myofascial pain in the superficial genital muscles, leading to pain on initial vaginal penetration. Myofascial pain in the deeper levator ani muscles and obturator muscles of the pelvic diaphragm can cause pain with deep penetration. Severe muscle spasms of the vaginal pelvic floor, sometimes referred to as vaginismus, may lead to the inability to tolerate vaginal penetration for medical exams or for intercourse. And painful scar tissue, such as episiotomy, may be a source of pelvic sexual pain. The Thera wand is a curved crystal wand that is tapered at one end, curved in the middle, and blunt or rounded on the other end. Physical therapists trained in the management of pelvic pain conditions can use the TheraWand in the clinic to perform specific myofascial treatment techniques. Both women and men with pelvic pain conditions can use the TheraWand to perform these treatments on themselves as well. The curved design allows the user to easily insert and specifically target the muscles and tissues that need to be treated. Always wash the TheraWand thoroughly before and after each use. Begin by making sure that the patient is in a comfortable reclined position in which she can relax her hips and thighs and place a generous amount of water-soluble lubricant on the tapered tip and sides of the TheraWand. Begin by angling the TheraWand downward and towards the bed or the table. To massage and treat the superficial genital muscles, Insert about one to two inches of the TheraWand into the vaginal opening. To treat the deeper levator ani and obturator internus muscles, insert the TheraWand to the depth of the curve in the handle. Remind the patient to keep the pelvic floor muscles relaxed as much as possible, and once it's inserted, then allow the muscles time to relax some more. Also remind the patient to continue steady, deep breathing during the treatment. Begin performing gentle strokes around the vaginal opening, first on one side and then on the other, for several minutes on each side. Be cautious at the opening of the urethra at the superior portion of the vagina and also at the rectum. Stretching of the vaginal opening, tight tissues, and scar tissue can be performed by applying pressure and sustaining a hold for 30 to 90 seconds. If a trigger point is identified, sustained pressure or small gentle strokes can be applied to the muscle with either the tapered end or the round end of the TheraWand. Because of the curved design, the TheraWand is especially effective in allowing the patient to self-treat trigger points and myofascial pain in difficult to reach muscles, such as levator ani and obturator internus. The patient can learn to deeply insert the TheraWand to the curve and then move the handle to the opposite side as such. I recommend that when possible, Physical therapists supervise their patients in their first use of the TheraWand. Self-treatment with the TheraWand can be performed on a daily basis as tolerated. Your patient should be encouraged to bring the TheraWand to clinical treatment sessions if she's having difficulty using it or if she's having increased pain. In conclusion, the TheraWand can be a key component to a multimodal approach for rehabilitation of pelvic floor muscle dysfunction and pain.